<coughs> so here we are, uh, <coughs> slightly cold and drizzly end to February, uh, and early into March, um, just quitting about my training, so it's the usual thing this year really with the, the racing that I've got planned, um, time trials, um, so I can't, can't say this last year really, Little Mountain, Leicester, uh, a few others, Welland probably if I can. Uh, we've only got one car between me and the missus at the moment. She's got dog training stuff on, so that's going to might be a bit tricky. But I'm going to get to as many as I can. Um, did a mountain bike race uh, last weekend. It was uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I had a bit of a disaster. My chain snapped uh, on the first lap, so I lost about 10 minutes sorting that out. Made a lot of fat of it really. Um, managed to catch back up with some of them. My group, I was in the retro race, the retro uh, bike group. I caught a few of those. <laughs> I managed to catch up 10 minutes, that was amazing. But the last lap, because I'd gone so hard and it was cold, that's my excuse, I got really quite severe cramp. Um, so that kind of messed my race up. I, well, I wasn't last, but so, yeah, it was good fun. We caught some of the we started off behind the um, enthusiast lot, who were like sport catching, I guess. We actually caught some of them. We started two minutes behind them. Within about a mile, we caught quite a few. We were getting tangled up with each other. We just like charged past them, which was quite funny. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I quite fancy doing some more mountain bike racing, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it's quite difficult being competitive on 26 inch wheels these days. Cat. Don't you dare. You wanna go out? Go on then. <laughs> go on. Excuse me, I can move this cat. Go on, out you go. Go on. <laughs> cat stop play. Um, yeah it's quite difficult being <coughs> being competitive on 26 inch wheels. <coughs> Everyone's running 29 ers and they just roll so much better over the uh, big routes and stuff. Um, <coughs> there's not a lot you can do about it on 26. I mean, it doesn't matter how much suspension you've got. Uh, you're just gonna get hooked up on routes and it's <coughs> you're gonna be a bit more frightened going down big drop-offs if you haven't got such big wheels to land on. Um, uh, having said that, I kind of like I think I did alright on it. I just rode really aggressively. Um, <clears throat> find that kind of helps. Um, we saw very well, I suppose. I mean, I've been I've been doing some weight training this this winter, uh, doing quite a lot of just basic strength work, uh, upper upper as well, core and upper body. And I think that really helps. Um, Help me ride aggressively. You know, I could charge into things and uh, feel confident that. I could hoik the bike over things, I've got any suspension hardly, but I'm capable of jumping over stuff. If I have to get off and haul the bike up a hill, it's probably not quite as difficult as if I hadn't done any of this uh, weight training. I'm not putting on loads of muscle, uh, you know, nothing obvious, but then I'm over 60 and it's difficult to build muscle. So, um, but I'm building strength. And it's quite important, really, as you get older. You know, we are being told regularly, you know, programs on the telly and stuff. You know, do some weight training, do, do some basic weights. As you get older, it's really important. Well, actually, I've noticed a difference. I can get off, uh, off the floor a lot easier if I'm working on the floor doing something. Just get up. Uh, pains that I've been suffering. Last year or two, with my knee, I had a knee problem. Um, that hasn't gone away, but it's a lot more easy to deal with. I, I, you know, I'm, you know, if I have to jump up or get down on my knees to fix something on a bike, I don't even think about it now. I just, just I can jump off stuff. Uh, my back's been better. Uh, I've had so much back pain. Quite a bit sore at the moment, but. I, used, I was getting a lot of it. Um, so I started off just doing some really easy stuff like 
10 push-ups, you know, times five or whatever it was. And it's all worked out, do some crunches, some reverse crunches, stuff like that. And, you know, I've got the weights in here. They're not the heavy, you know. So, doing squats and 20 kilos and stuff like that, it's not a lot. But, I think it's really making a difference. Um, it'd be interesting to see how it affects my time trial as well. I just feel generally stronger. So, yeah, we'll see. Endurance stuff, um, <clears throat> again around right on the canals, the usual winter nonsense. Uh, going out and doing three to three to five hours riding around the canals. <laughs> it's very boring, put the headphones on, those, you know, and, um, just do that. Previous previous years I've been, uh, been using the turbo trainer for my training. Um, it's been all right doing intervals and stuff like that, but I don't think it has the same. For me, I'm not sure whether it's got the same uh, bang for your buck, so to speak, uh, as doing the doing the strength training. Uh, I am doing an F FTP test, so um, it'd be interesting to see if my FTP's gone up just doing the weights and the endurance. That'd be really interesting, actually. <coughs> I don't like doing them. They're painful and a bit boring. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope we do one really. I haven't done one for a year or so. Um, I should be more professional about these things, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's me really. Can't really anything else to say about this. You know, we had time trialing again soon. Might see some of you out there. If you're thinking about it, if you're one of my Warsaw friends, um, bike project friends, um, if you fancy doing a bit of racing, give us a shout. Because I'll need to lift some races, quite potentially. But, <coughs> you know, yeah, give us a shout if you want to go do a time trial. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it works. Alright, cheers guys. <laughs>